Hi, this is Buzz Cantor from American Iron Magazine, AIMag.com, and I'm down at the secret workshop of Larry Wood, noted restorer, motorcycle extraordinaire, and here he has created another one of his amazing inventions or creations. It's a, well, I'm going to let him tell us, but it's a Henderson four-cylinder board track racer. So, Larry, tell us just briefly what do we got here. We have a 1917 board track racer that's also set up so that it's roadworthy and could be a road racer as well as a board track racer. But the inspiration is the board tracker. But the registration is as a, as a racer. It's okay. not even specified. Now, we have the four-cylinder Henderson motor. Attached to the motor, we have to come out with some right-angle drive to get the drive out. So what we have here is a Kawasaki right-angle drive. After the right-angle drive, we have to have some type of transmission. So we have a English transmission. Off of the British, a British a, motorcycle? From a Triumph uh -huh. motorcycle, okay? And it is also the, the Triumph clutch. Okay. Coming back, we have a direct drive going to the rear wheel. So the direct drive means it comes right off the transmission. It comes right off the transmission. It comes okay. through the clutch, off the transmission, and yeah. back to the sprocket. Okay. But we do have a clutch in between the motor yep. and, and the, uh, the transmission, on the transmission. Uh, over on this side, we put on uh, a juice brake. Uh, actually, four track races didn't have brakes. Of course, they didn't have the other transmission stuff. And uh, coming back down here, the brass is really quite original. It's 1917 original brass intake manifold. And, and all the exposed valve train. All the and exposed, the exposed valve, valve train, yes. And the exhaust is, it's each cylinder drops down into drops one long down, tube? Yeah, four in one, uh -huh. it's called. And we have the hydraulic portion of the, the juice brake, along with the container holding the hydraulic fluid. The master cylinder. Master cylinder. Uh -huh. Very cool. Yeah, and uh, this is a very good point here. This is a, a, a fork, and uh, most of this work done on the bike was done by uh, Billy Lane. And the fork is a copy from a crocker I had. And it has some travel down at the bottom, doesn't it? It has about one inch and a, a half of travel right here. But the beauty of this thing is that you can adjust the tension on the fork just by the, adjusting this nut. So I could set it as, as tight or as, as loose as I want. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the light here is uh, an LED bulb. Okay. And so it throws out a good beam. Well, you can see it right here. Wow. That's high beam. Yep. And I go to low beam, and you can see the tail light. Yep. There's oh, low yeah. beam. So does this run? Oh, it runs very well. We'll start it up for you. Uh, you give us a second here, yeah. and we'll take off. Okay. Peter... It's going to start the thing because I'm too old to, to kick my, it anymore. My leg's 20 years newer. Yeah. Okay, so walk us through. Prior to us filming this, you primed it. You put some raw fuel, I put some raw fuel right into in the there. primer cup. I, initially, uh, I learned a, that's tri this trick on this 1914 Indian up here. Mm -hmm. And about two or three kicks and the thing starts every single time. But it starts to load it up. Okay, we gotta put a little bit of choke on. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, let's go there. Okay, and then Pete's hopping on. Your, your, your trusty partner in crime.
So do we all. And there you have it, the amazing Larry Wood and another one of his Henderson creations. This is Buzz Cantor at American Iron Magazine, AIMag.com. What do you say, Larry?